What's going on guys? So it's been a very busy day and this video is not on, you know, the usual set or anything else. This is actually on my phone and it's being supported by the R2-D2 Sphero box, the robot. So that's kind of fun. Uh, and R2-D2, by the way, behind this camera right now, keeping it steady. So, thank you R2-D2. But, I did see the Florida Project. I've seen it a while ago, but I didn't get a chance to review it because I've been a little busy with other stuff and other movies. And I figured now is the best time to talk about it, no time like the present, because it's getting a lot of attention, and it is a really great movie to talk about. This film is interesting because it has the story of a summer in Orlando. This is a time where there are these three kids living in this motel, and it's about how they look at the lives of all the people who live over there. Particularly Mooney, this little girl who is essentially the main character of this film. Her entire point of view is what you get to see in this movie because she has a mom and her mom is barely being able to make ends meet, try and get money wherever possible so that she can pay the landlord, played by Willem Dafoe, in whatever way possible. And so the film is essentially about this one period during summer where stuff happens and all these crazy drama incidents happen and it's about how Mooney sees all of this but also you get insights into the other characters lives as well and that's what makes this movie very interesting because we've seen movies before where the adults tell the story and there are kids involved and kids are affected by it this is actually the first time where they decided to completely let go of that and they decided to show you this entire thing from the point of view of the kid and how the kid sees things. And I really like the approach that Sean Baker took to this movie. It's a very natural movie. That's honestly my biggest positive of this film. It is almost like you're seeing an actual place come to life. It doesn't feel like actors. It doesn't feel like this was a set that was created. It feels like this is a summer in Orlando, which is just flowing the way it naturally does flow. If something happens, it feels natural. If someone says something, it feels natural. Willem Dafoe in this movie is an actor that everybody knows, and you can look at that and say, now that makes it certain it's a movie. But honestly, if you didn't know Willem Dafoe going in, and if you didn't know that he was a famous actor, then you'd be convinced that he was just a random guy who ran a motel in Florida. And you would be none the wiser to think otherwise. I mean, this is actually pretty natural that way. Willem Dafoe in this movie gives a brilliant performance. He's getting a lot of talk regarding supporting actor nominations, and I agree, he's really good in this. He's very strong. Very strong, however, is this little girl. She is incredible in this movie. You really feel for her at points. There are scenes where things are going really out of hand when it comes to her life with her mom. Her mom, I can't remember the actress's name, also really great. Very strong performances from the two. They have these struggles throughout their entire time in this movie, and you definitely get that, and the way it's shown is excellent, and I really like what they were able to do with all those things. Willem Dafoe has also got a bit of a storyline to him. There are hints about certain things to his past which are pretty well done. And I really like the way they brought it all together when it was coming to points of the film where you had to have resolutions for the characters. Although the film is very good at not giving resolutions. There are certain things which are left open-ended and certain things which are left a certain way which kind of helped a lot. The film, however, one of the biggest strengths of it is the filmmaking. It looks gorgeous. The cinematography is some of the best I've seen all year. Color grading itself in this movie, the colors deserve its own great recognition because this is some of the best use of color I have ever seen in a movie. It is beautiful and the way it's edited is also really great. The film also makes an interesting choice of not using score at all. There's no score in this movie, neither is it in the end credits. It's just a very silent film. That way it uses the ambient noise, which is an interesting choice. And I actually appreciated it more than I think about it as the film has, you know, played in my mind over and over again. So I really like what they were able to do. The script was excellent, very well written. This was a really, really well done film from start to finish. Every single thing worked. My only minor issue with the film is such a minor one is that it is a couple of minutes longer than it should be. I feel like it could have been trimmed a couple of minutes. Aside from that, the rest of the film worked really well. The performances were excellent. Willem Dafoe and this girl, Brooklyn Prince, I believe is her name. Really strong performances. 
It's written beautifully, it looks fantastic, and the film also has a really great way of bringing it all together. This is not exactly a happy movie, it is a bittersweet movie, and it does get more and more so as the film approaches the third act, but it's still a great film. Definitely do check it out if you haven't yet. I'm gonna give The Florida Project a 9.5 out of 10. Guys, thank you so much as always for watching. Look forward to more reviews very soon, like Wonder. I have seen that. I do want to review that movie as well as soon as I can. As always, if you like this, please do subscribe. And as always, I will see you guys at the movies.